the real opportunity is to treat the CCOE as an evolving capability, not a fixed org chart box. So if you get that right, the CCOE becomes a competitive advantage, ultimately not a task. And I would advise just eliminating it altogether, even the name CCOE. I just think it has too much baggage associated with it. And so if it's in your organization, you still have these functions, uh, work to move those functions into other areas. And I'm telling, I'm not telling you to fire your CCOE members. Those are typically very talented people that perform, you know, very, uh, you know, bring expertise that you need to the role and using cloud within the enterprise. What I'm saying is that you distribute those resources in other areas where they're engineered to be more optimized. They're engineered to be helping you develop a product, not necessarily helping you develop, develop a bureaucracy, which they've done over the last 15 years. Well, let me know what you think about CCOEs, whether you still have them in your enterprise, what they do, whether they add value or not. You know, maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong in my assessment, but I don't think I am. And if there's something that we should continue with or something that should, as I'm arguing, should be eliminated. So anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos on this channel. Also check out my InfraWorld Cloud Computing blog, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses, and of course my generative AI architecture course out on GoCloud Careers. And finally, my latest books, Unlocking the Power of Cloud, and an insider's guide to cloud computing. So until next week, stay very, very safe. The magical YouTube algorithm thinks that this is another one of my videos that you should watch now.